New hire onboarding is an important activity. It requires lots of coordination, parallel activities and timely execution. There are two sets of people we need to work with, the new hires themselves and internal departments which contribute to the onboarding activities. We always use email for coordinating with others. But we know that when too many emails flood the inbox, topics get mixed up and responses get delayed. The Microsoft Teams app in Office 365 resolves this issue. Teams is a great tool for working with others without using emails. Just create the onboarding team by adding the point of contacts from each department as members. Working within the team is very easy. Just post what you want to say as a conversation. All team members will be notified about it using the Teams app. No mails are sent. Only the team's members can see and respond to the conversation. It is similar to personal chat apps like WhatsApp. But here, the chat is persistent. What does it mean? Two things. Firstly, the new members can also see the past discussions. And secondly, everything is archived on the server for security and compliance reasons. Emails are best used for ad hoc communication, which may not be very urgent. But when there's a file involved, using email is not efficient. Too many copies get created, which are difficult to locate and track. Teams provide a built-in shared files folder. Upload files here. All team members can see and edit these files. No more CCs with attachments. Onboarding also requires timely execution. Now, there is no need to maintain a task list in Excel and delegate work by sending emails. Just add a planner tab to create a shared task list inside the Teams app. Add the tasks, set a deadline and assign to the person responsible. We can categorise tasks into buckets. In this case, departments. Everyone in the team can see the overall execution status and the tasks assigned to them. The Planner app is always with you while you are on the go. The new hires need timely and clear communication regarding onboarding schedules, venues, transportation and logistics. This type of one-way communication is best managed using Yammer, not Teams. Yammer is a secure, private corporate social network. Create a group and add the new hires to it. You can now post the details in Yammer. New hires cannot just see the posts, but also like, share and comment on them. Yammer is an excellent app for knowledge sharing as well. New hires can post questions or share learnings with each other. Yammer mobile app is a guaranteed way to remain in sync. We want to create web page to publish the onboarding schedule. Usually, you cannot directly create a web page on your own. You need to work with the IT team and it takes time. Not any longer. Now you can create a nice looking professional web page in minutes using a new tool called Sway. Just add the content and formatting will be done automatically for you. You can type text, insert pictures, add links and that's it. The page is automatically created. There is no need to publish the web page. It's auto-published. Want to try a different design? Just click the Remix button to change the entire look and feel in seconds. Finally, create a shared link or a QR code. Post it on the Yammer group and you're done. New hires join across locations. But the CEO's welcome address for new hires is delivered from the head office. We can use Skype for business here. No special video conferencing equipment is needed. All you need is a webcam and an internet connection. The new hires can view the CEO welcome address on mobile phones as well. Skype for business also has a nice question and answer tool. Questions can be posted anytime during the session and handled at the end. In order to monitor the quality of onboarding training programs, we need to capture feedback from the new hires. This is usually done using printed feedback forms or email surveys. It is time consuming and cumbersome. Now, 
we can use a new tool called Forms. Add the questions and create the form online. No programming is required. Share the form link with the new hires or post it on Yammer. The trainer can also display the QR code on a slide at the end of the training program to capture live feedback. Participants can fill the form using any mobile phone browser. Analytics is available in real time. This way the trainer can respond to the feedback while the participants are present in the room. We just saw new and efficient ways of managing teamwork, sharing information, delivering live sessions and capturing live feedback. Office 365 is more than just a collection of work tools. It can transform the way you work. It is a platform for change. Would you like to try this out by conducting a pilot? Why don't you request your IT team to help you? This link has all the details IT needs to set up the Office 365 pilot. Move into the workplace of tomorrow today with Office 365. Thanks for your time. Cheers.